Hi everybody, it's Paul Nelson with Egatoro Pumps North America. Today I'd like to talk to you about our Axial Flow Elbow Pump, which is a propeller pump. We name it the RPG or the RPP. Egger started building agitators in 1949, and then we put it into a tube and created an elbow pump or a propeller pump in 1955. In fact, the first one we sold was to a paper mill, and here's the proof. There's the serial number, serial number 1989 and 1990, and it went into a paper mill in 1955. In fact, we custom build pumps to fit your application. And this is an example of a U-shaped pump. So it's two elbow pumps put together, and you can see the shaft runs through it with the uh, propeller in the center. But this is our main product. And it's our second generation product developed in 1995. And the application is it's got a high specific speed, big flow rates, and low heads. So what we're talking about is 100,000 GPM. But we only make up to about 21 feet ahead. Now, yes, there are some pumps that we have that will go up as high as 28 feet ahead. But I haven't seen it. 21 feet ahead is about our max pressure. Now the application is very simple, chemical, municipal, sugar, pulp and paper, cold and hot liquids. But today I'm here to talk to you about municipal and particularly um, mixed liquor pumps or recycle pumps. So what is it? It's a four vane propeller, kind of like your outboard engine on your pontoon boat, but it's in a tube, which makes it highly efficient. It's got a thick and long vane profile, which offers smooth running, it's got very little hydraulic imbalance, and so it's got less vibration, low wear, low shear, and high suction capability. Now, we've, we offer two different propeller profiles. First, the standard profile, which is for clean liquids without solids. And we go with a pitch of 10 to 25 degrees, depending on your pressure and your flow. And they're completely welded to the hub. Then we got the fiber repellent profile. And see what we've done? We've rounded these edges. So that way, when it's spinning, it grabs that rag and expels it outward and pumps it away. And the, the range of flow is simply 100,000 GPM and 21 feet ahead. Now, let's look at the different designs. Remember I said RPG and RPP? Well, the RPG is a cast design elbow. And that's fantastic. For long life, a cast product is fantastic. But we also build this fabricated elbow with five segments, and it allows us to do specialty materials. So we do the traditional steel, 316 stainless steel, 304, Hasloy B, Hasloy C, Monel, and titanium. And we can go from 10 inch to 44 inch. And in this one, 10 inch to 28 inch. Now, let's look at how they're installed. Well, ideally, You'd have it on a base plate, long coupled, and maybe with a VFD. But we can do a V-belt drive, or we can do a gear reducer type. Now, what's really interesting is we do a lot of these pumps as suspended in pipe. And so what that is, is there's a pipe here and a pipe there, and the pump just sits there in midair. And then maybe it has a foundation, or maybe it doesn't. See the, see the foundation? So the pump is held in place by the pipe, You've got a drive shaft, a gearbox, and a motor. And we do a lot of custom type applications. Let me show you some pictures. Well, first let's talk advantages. Four blade propeller design, long profile, shaft protection tube. What that means is we have a shaft running into that pipe with a propeller. We have a protection tube over it so that if you're doing stringy solids or if it's harsh chemicals, the shaft is protected from that. So that's a shaft protection tube. We have internal bearings. We've got extremely long bearing life. It's very well supported. And a wide variety of mechanical seals are packing. Or we can do a custom replacement type pump where we can try to fit it into your existing uh, installation. So let's look at some pictures. This one is a motor mounted propeller pump for Thames water. And you can see, here's the motor with a bracket, and it's directly mounted to the pump itself. And then here's one that we sold eight to, 
and it's an elbow pump for activated sludge. And you can see this one is a vertical, and that one's a horizontal design with a V-belt. Wow, look at this pump. It's for BASF Pasadena, California. It's a loop reactor pump, and it's an RPP-602, and it's one of those suspended in the pipe pumps right there. And if you look, that's the pump illustrated right there. So it's just directly in the pipe. Another example is this pump for Trinidad, which this picture is taken in our shop in Switzerland. But you can see it's four 801s and four 401s, and then eight Turo pumps. But you can see it's V-Bell drive. It's suspend, suspended in pipe construction. So you would suspend that pipe, that pump in the pipe. There's the bearing frame. There's the V-Bell drive, and the motor hangs underneath. Very compact, very tidy, very easy to work on. Again, another one in Austria ideally shows the pipe here, the pipe there. See, there's no feet, no legs, no nothing. But over here, you've got a, um, a gearbox and a coupling and another coupling and then a motor. Another suspended in pipe where you have a good foundation, a right angle drive and a motor. And here's a suspended in pipe with a bearing frame and a V-belt drive that's mounted onto a concrete pedestal. But this is ideal for your application, a vertical wet pit design. Now, believe it or not, this is the elbow here. The pump sits down about 12 feet into the pit and pumps up the tube and out the elbow, okay? So it's a vertical pump. It's, of course, it's low head. The beauty of it is it's top pullout design. So if you have to work on it, you bring over a crane and you unbolt these bolts here, and you can just lift it out and work on it. This particular one is for sludge recirculation and it's in cast iron with stainless steel propeller. Lastly, here's one for shale gas. It was a pilot plant built by a company in Switzerland and it's an RPP 801. It uses a special alloy steel it, because it's very corrosive and it's rated for 42,000 GPM and nine feet ahead. This is our shop in Switzerland and in 2000, uh, 2021, we built this pump, which is actually our largest pump ever. It's a 50 inch elbow pump and it's ideal for uh, this application, which was a DN 1300, which is 50 inch. It's for salt industry. My name is Paul Nelson. I'd like to help you with your high flow, low head pump applications. Please consider the, the Egger um, RPP elbow pump. Give me a call at 478-538-1593 or simply paul at eggerpumps.com. Thank you.